finally got into it because I was like, you know what, this is just something I need to do for me. And I, I, as much as I respect your opinion and who you are and what you're about, um, there just comes a time and a place where you got to kind of sack up and do your own thing for who you are and express yourself. Especially me being an artist and being the creative type that I am, um, I needed to do this for myself. So I went through my paces and I ended up uh, getting, my first tattoo was here and uh, I was instantly hooked because the second I was seeing the ink go into my skin and everything from the sound of the machines to the smell of the soaps and the inks and everything, the, the decor of the shop, the people, the clientele, just the entire experience. Even the pain in a weird way is something that was just really alluring for me. And so the second I was done with that tattoo, I was like, okay, now I gotta start drawing a, a storm of ideas for more tattoos. And within a matter of time, I had pretty much an entire sketchbook loaded with all these concepts and ideas that I wanted to get. These days, I've really worked, I think, at coming up with a style um, that I feel like is pleasing for what I'm about expressing. And a number of the pieces I do are quick, but they're, but they're still rooted in, in me trying to get a point across. Um, the more detailed things, like we were talking about the, the pen and ink image I did with the skull and the heart and all that, I do a lot of like illusions about the mind and the soul and the heart and, and what guides you in your life. Um, I've done a number of different bodies of work that deal with like what is the motivating factor for people behaving, being, living how they do and um, that's a constant for me. Like even the pinup things, I was talking about that earlier and that's even a, a series that has to do with your personal history and where you've been, where you're headed, what where do you want to be, who do you want to be with, and so if you kind of blanket, I guess, all the work, which is kind of an aha moment for me right now, but if you blanket all my work, it all kind of has to do with sort of life and death and the choices that you leave in your life, um, what and what guides you, is it your heart or your mind, is it your your spirit or your soul or logic, and, and what what is that force in your life that, that makes you do what you do? Instead of bleeding out with the wound that you have, cut off the hand, cauterize it, take the hit and move on and heal it up so that you have a chance to move forward as opposed to dragging things out and making things more painful for yourself and everyone around you.